Good morning and welcome to Mary Jackson. I hope all of you are having a wonderful time. Gather around, we're going to do a media introduction. We're very fortunate today to have uh, a group of luminaries. We have some fantastic stars in the automotive industry. A couple of them I'm going to introduce by name. If you can hold your applause to the end and then we'll do some introductions. First we have, of course, Craig Jackson, CEO and Chairman of the Board of Bear Jackson Auction Company. We have Cash Sue from Ford Motor Company, Aaron Shelby, board member of Carroll Shelby International, and Gary Patterson, the president of Shelby American. Let's give them a round of applause. Yeah. Every year, Barrett Jackson becomes the home of the collector car hobby. And I would be very proud to introduce our first speaker, who not only is the chairman and the CEO of the Barrett Jackson Auction Company, but he is a dyed in the wool serious car guy. All of you saw yesterday his historic introduction, the reunification, the family reunion of the, the phenomenal Shelby cars. But what a lot of people don't understand is not only does Craig love cars, he works on them. He has the scars on his hands, he's given his blood, he personally gets in and, and works with the sheet metal. He is as much a car guy as anybody at Barrett Jackson, so please welcome Craig Jackson. Well, thank you. Uh, part of Barrett Jackson's DNA is charity. We started life as a charity fundraising car show to hobbyists. Families got together and it evolved into this. But charity is still part of the core. We are honored to raise money for great charities. And I just want to thank you for building such a great vehicle. There you are. Uh, such a great vehicle to auction off here. Uh, you know, as we look forward in life, Alzheimer's is getting worse as we're growing older. It is something that we need to tackle, and it's nothing worse than watching your loved ones slowly lose touch. Uh, it touched Tom Barrett, and he went into seclusion because his family just couldn't see him not being able to talk to people. So it's touched our company, and uh, it's also one of the reasons why we are so enthusiastic to raise a lot of money with this very special Bronco that uh, is state-of-the-art. Uh, I was just looking at it, and it goes to the way it is so personalized that I think this is going to be a piece of history. Now let's see if we can break the record with it as a charity Bronco. Thank you, Craig. Craig is the driving force behind the collector car industry today in the hobby, and he's a great friend of the OEMs. On the flip side, not only has he helped create a lot of opportunity, one of those is Gateway Bronco. So I'd like to introduce you to Seth Burkett. Seth is an innovator. He's a lifelong serial um, entrepreneur, an Ironman participant, and one of the most ambitious people. And he has been involved with Barrett Jackson since the beginning and the founding of the company. And Barrett Jackson, I think you would say, has been a springboard for Gateway Bronco. So please welcome Seth. Well, thank you, Scott. Yes, definitely the company was founded and launched our first event here. We sold our first vehicle in this spot and we've been here ever since. Uh, the story of this Bronco for Ryan Blaney Family Foundation was also uh, founded at Barrett Jackson. In fact, it was at Barrett Jackson, Las Vegas that the Ryan Blaney team approached me and said, uh, Ryan loves Broncos. We've got to do a project together. They said, Ryan has an original Bronco. It breaks down all the time. He needs your help with his Bronco. And I said, okay, well, let's talk about that. And through that process, we learned a little bit more about the Alzheimer's process. And we came to realize that my mother-in-law was being impacted by Alzheimer's and then officially diagnosed a few months later. And so once that occurred, I knew that Ryan and I had to do a project. We flew out to his father's garage where they still build race cars for his father to race. And we designed every aspect of this Bronco together. So Ryan and I sat on the tailgate of his Bronco and we designed everything from the bill of aluminum wheels to the Shelby GT500 paint to the partial leather interior. Every aspect of this came through that session. And then we've developed what we think is a really unique Bronco, truly a one of one. And some of those unique features are genuine Porsche leather with houndstooth interior. 
It has the aluminum wheels, and something that you don't see here, and really unique in the Bronco, is a four-link chassis that was R&D just for this vehicle. No other vehicle in the world has it. It's a one-of-one, -one, and we worked with one of our partners to create this engineered system so you can drive down the streets of your local city, have a nice smooth ride, take it out on the canyon roads, carve the roads with this, and then take it out on the highway and blast down the interstate 80 miles an hour, two fingers on the wheel. As a testament to that, Mr. Jackson and I were quoted in the New York Times with our good friend Jim Montevalli, and he said, Seth, after an hour of driving this Bronco in uh, Manhattan traffic, he said, I don't know how you've done this. This thing, I can't make this Bronco angry. He said, we're putting through an hour of bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic, take it out of the highway, and it's a totally different animal. 500 plus horsepower to rear wheels, and you would never know it driving in Manhattan. So, you know, part of what we did here is create a uniquely engineered vehicle, but we wanted to pay tribute to Ryan's grandfather, Lou Blaney. This is the reason for being with this vehicle. Lou was afflicted by Alzheimer's, and that's why Ryan wanted to support this vehicle. But what we did is we looked at Lou's life. Lou won 600 races in a 47-year career. Unimaginable. Well, he built a lumber company to be able to support that racing habit. And so what we did is we put barnwood in the back of this Bronco, and then we took the logo off of his race car from the 50s, scanned it in and burned it onto the tailgate, the wood of the tailgate. Super unique. I really implore everyone here to uh, to take a look at that. And uh, you know, we want to thank our partners, including Ford Performance, for providing the Coyote 5 liter engine, the six speed automatic transmission, and then we added a little spice to this with a supercharger from Harrop USA. The same supercharger technology as the new GT 500. It's a special Bronco. We think it's a great cause, and we think it's a very unique time to buy a Bronco. Unprecedented in the history of time to buy a Bronco. Tomorrow, Saturday, 3.30, lot 3006. We ask everyone to come out, support the Bronco, and let's break that world record. So Ryan will be here tomorrow. He'll be in this booth at 10 a.m. doing autographs. We have a symposium over in the Equidome at 11 o'clock talking about Broncos. And then at 1.30, he's going to be in the Ford Performance booth and going to have a little bit of fun. So tomorrow, in between all the auction action, which is going to be fantastic, I think, Craig, you've raised $118 million over the years, something like that, for charity. So hopefully, uh, between the Lexus and this and some of the other vehicles that are going to go in the first C8, we're going to have uh, a lot more added to that. I encourage you to come up, talk to Seth talk to the team we also have the number one the very first bronco over here that was on carol shelby's terlingua ranch and we have aaron shelby here we'd be glad to talk to you about that so come ask questions talk to craig about the charity cars and all of the phenomenal things that are happening to barrett jackson and thank you for being here today there you have it been a lot on saturday Alzheimer's Association.
before the, the, the 70s. <laughs> Both the students.